Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, that's going to be in the scripture we're reading, and I just felt like singing a line of it. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray the God of comfort is surrounding you, that you have peace in your souls, and uh, that you have joy in your spirits. Joy from the Lord can supersede very difficult circumstances. I've experienced it many times. It is real. And uh, God's holy presence is what we need to invite around us. He inhabits the praise of his people. Draw close to him. He will draw close to you. Abide with him. He will abide with you. It's our choice every day how close we stay to the Lord. And uh, we are just living in times. Choose you this day whom you will serve. They, people have chosen up sides. There's people that are serving God and there are people that are serving the evil one. And uh, it's pretty blatant out there these expressions so anyway i'm reading the king james version of the bible i am a new testament convert i believe in the lord jesus christ i believe he was the son of god i believe that when he died on the cross he shed his blood for my salvation and yours whosoever will that if we believe in the lord jesus christ in the work he did on the cross that he did die, he was buried, he came up out of the grave, and he ascended to the right hand of the Father, and uh, that the Lord has given him rule and reign of everything, that only through the name of Jesus can we be saved. He is the only door to the Father. I know we have many different beliefs in this world, many different books that people Hold dear to them as feeling it is the true word. But this is what I feel is the true word. This uh, Old Testament and New Testament penned by many different souls over many, many years. But I believe all authored and designed by God to be included. Now we are to rightly divide the word of God. There are times that it is speaking to Israel. There are times when we get in the New Testament, it's still speaking to Jewish people, and then it's speaking to whosoever will. <laughs> the door has opened to the Gentiles. That wasn't open before in the Old Testament. The Old Testament, when we read it, is a covenant with God's particular people, and that is Israel. But in the New Testament, Jesus died for all whosoever will so we are privileged to be grafted in in this uh, new testament covenant to the promises given to abraham so you and i can call abraham our father as well as the jewish people the new testament lets us know that we are made one man in jesus christ there are jewish messianic believers in jesus christ there are Gentile believers in Jesus Christ, and uh, we believe that is our salvation. Well, Psalm 68 is concerning the God of Israel to the chief musician, a psalm or song of David, and we're just reading it. I won't be commenting on this. Just enjoy the reading of this psalm. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, yea, let them exceedingly rejoice, sing unto God. Sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. 
a father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. God setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, see law, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Thou, O God, didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation hath dwelt therein. Thou, O God, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Kings of armies did flee apace, and she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Though ye have lain among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in salmon. The hill of God is as the hill of Bashan, and high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why leap ye, ye high hills? This is the hill which God desireth to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive, thou hast received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belong the issues from death. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such an one as goeth on still in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies, and the tongue of thy dogs in the same. They have seen thy goings, O God, even the goings of my God, my King, in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after. Among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless ye God in the congregations, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which thou hast wrought for us. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls, with the calves of the people, till every one submit himself with pieces of silver. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. O sing praises unto the Lord, Selah. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, Lo, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord, most high. Praise his holy name. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Obey Acts 2.38 if you need to give your heart to the Lord. 
be blessed.